Sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready to go. Senor Mendieta, you are a player who played in a number of different countries. Off the field, what were the skills necessary to be successful in different countries, different footballs, different cultures? Well, I think it was. It's very important when you, wherever you go, just try to um, settle quickly in the in the culture of the, each country, and uh, and then the football. I mean, it takes time, but it, it, as, as much as you play, that gets easier. But uh, for for instance, when I, when I arrived to England, it was a big shock culturally because uh, it's a big differences between England and Spain. Not such a big one in, in Italy, where, where the lifestyle is very similar to the Spanish one. But I found more difficult to add to the Italian football than I did to English football. For, so, you know, just, just try to, to not commit mistakes in the sense of, because I think we're Spanish, where we go. We have our Spanish TV, we have our Spanish family and friends. You, you, you turn in in the morning, you get back home, and you live like in a Spanish style. You don't really socialize with uh, people from the from the place, and I think that's that's wrong. We should try to be, uh, be more involved with the society. And this is even easier today with the internet. You can talk to your yeah. friends. Do you think this is a problem for for today's young players going abroad? It's almost a problem that it's so easy to stay in touch with their homeland. Well, it could be, but I think it's good in another way because, especially young people, young players that go abroad, and. Uh, you know, they miss their family, friends. It's not easy sometimes, especially when the times are tough. If maybe if they're not playing regularly, and uh, I think it helps, but sometimes it makes them maybe miss them even more. You have obviously made a massive effort with languages, and your English is immaculate. Do you think that this perhaps is a problem in the story of Carlos Tevez in English football? It can be, like, like I said, um, I, I learned English before I arrived to England. Uh, so I, I have a little bit of knowledge about it. And then obviously now eight years improved it. But uh, it, it is, it is one of the things you should do the first, just learn the language. Because that will help you to socialize with the teammates, with the, you know, make friends, you know, get to know new people. And uh, that, that's basic, that is basic. Yeah. We're talking about an interchange of different cultures and we're at an event which seeks to do exactly that. Yeah. We're at Soccer X. What, what do you see as the importance of, of, of Soccer X? Well, it's my first time in Soccer X and I've already been impressed. Uh, I've been only one day. But I think it's, it's great because, like you say, uh, you get to know many people from, that love football in, from different angles uh, related to football. And uh, sharing experiences, sharing knowledge, man. And it's not like they fighting against each other. I mean, you see here Barcelona, Madrid, they, you know, walking along. You see from uh, Brazil, from Argentina, from all over the world, and just for the goal to to learn and to improve their clubs and their skills in, in, the, in the, not just on the field, also in the offices. Brazil is staging the, the next World Cup. It's living a good economic moment. Do you imagine if maybe you were 10 years younger, you would like to have the experience of playing in Brazil as well as England and Italy? I would have, if I would have the chance. I mean, that was one of the things I always wanted to do as a professional. I wanted to experience football from different uh, point of views, different countries, and I did, well, three of the biggest in Europe, in the world. Uh, I would have done more if I, would have, if I could have, and obviously Brazil, back then, would have been one, one, one country I would have loved to, to experience football because they're so passionate about it. Do you follow the reality of South American football? To be honest, not much, not much. I mean, I, I know, you know, follow the, the, the championship and the teams. I've noticed some uh, players that play in Europe, they're coming back to Brazil because the good economic moment they're is living. So, but not much. And what does Senor Mendieta do now? Uh, I'm doing a bit of media in, in England with Sky. I am um, setting up an academy uh, trying to link Spain and, and England, helping players to develop, to improve as not just as a player, uh, also as a, as, a, as persons, human beings, and we just starting. So hopefully, in the next months, things will be running. English players, Spanish players. It's orientated to both. I mean, the idea is to 
teach English players with the Spanish methodology because now Spanish uh, football is like you know probably the best of his history. So we're trying to make the most of that and helping these players. We don't want to change them. We want the English players to be English players, but improve them in t maybe technically, maybe the knowledge of football, how to read the games, and and make them better players. And how do you select these players? We'll have trials. We'll we'll because we will uh, be a foundation, a charity. So some of them will be non-privileged kids that uh, have the chance to, to train, to maybe you know get the chance to play in, in the big leagues. And because it will be between England and Spain, we'll hopefully help also Spanish players maybe coming to England. So like I say, it's going to be like hopefully a bridge in, in both way directions. Do you, do you still watch a lot of football? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Who do you like? Well, I like, I like uh, Barcelona. Easy one. I like Madrid, the way they play, the, the counter-attack. I think this season they more solid, they're more complete, that even more than they were last season. Uh, I like Arsenal, I like Man U, Man City. I mean, probably uh, England and Spain is the more leagues I follow the most. Italy, I've seen Milan recently. They're doing very well. Not so good in the league, but uh, they're going to be there. Juve is back, you know, where it should be. Big clubs always have to be... I would like to see them in the top in the top place. Playing in these three different countries, how was the atmosphere different? It is, I mean, Spanish and it in Italians are obviously more passionate for good or for bad. I mean, when things are good, it's great. When things are not so good, they're not so good because they 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 really feel this this uh, football like a personal thing. In England, what, what I, I like about England, and I think what uh, Spanish players love about English supporters. It's like, whatever happens, you know, there's always the next game. You could just walk out of the stadium and nobody's going to say you, to, you know, tell you anything. If anything, they will like, you know, cheering you up and, you know, making you think of another game and, and being positive. And that, and that is great. That doesn't happen in Spain, unfortunately, which, well, I would like something like that to happen in, in, in Spain. So things being more relaxed sometimes. But I guess that's, you know, contradiction at some point. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Grand Prasir.